not getting the results you want from Adapalin? These are five things you might be doing wrong. Great day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor, and welcome to Skin Fix, Asia's premier platform whereby you can get all your skincare advice. Now, today we'll be highlighting one of the more important ingredients for acne care. The ingredient that we're talking about today is adapalin. A little story of how adapalin works for acne and how you can use it to your advantage. Adapalin is a third generation retinoid means that it helps control acne. Adapalin works three ways. The first way is to reduce the amount of sebum production that your sebaceous glands produce. By reducing the amount of sebum production, we can actually reduce blackheads, whiteheads, sebaceous filaments, and even active acne. Adapalin also helps reduce and shed dead skin cells. That means it helps exfoliate dead skin cells exfoliate the skin, push it away, and then unclog your pores. And the third thing that adapalin works very well is to reduce inflammation. When you have acne, you have those red nasty scars called PIE or PIH scars. And these are generally due to inflammation. So what adapalin does, it helps reduce the amount of redness or the inflammation caused by the active acne. Adapalin comes in different forms. Generally, it's gel or cream form. And Adapalin in the market has multiple brands. However, the original brand that we're going to be talking about is Different. Different is by Gaudema and has been around for many years. And they come in a couple of strengths. And the one that we're going to be talking about today is generally the 0.1%, which is available in Malaysia. Now, no matter how good Adapalin works, there are reasons why it's not working for your skin. So here are the top five reasons that you might be using your Adapalin wrongly. First reason, you're expecting an overnight result. Adapalin does not give you an overnight result whereby it does not reduce your acne within 24 hours. Adapalin takes time to work, generate five to seven days to see any sort of result, and in clinical studies, even up to 12 weeks to see a reduction of acne. If you're expecting quicker results, you might want to opt for other sort of acne medication, such as benzoyl peroxide, or even in Malaysia, you get access to nixodem. However, benzoyl peroxide and uh, salicylic acid that nixodem contains generally will cause a lot of PIH issues. So for the long term, adapalin works much better. Now, if you want a quicker result from your adapalin to reduce that acne at a much quicker pace, you can actually mix it with clindamycin because there is clinical studies that shows a mixture between a clindamycin and an adapalin treatment on your acne actually helps reduce acne much quicker. Another tip is you might want to apply an acne patch five to 10 minutes after you've applied your adapalin gel. However, don't expect miracles as adapalin works much slower. Second reason, you might be stopping your adapalin prematurely. Despite having a reduction in acne, you should always continue your adapalin application even if you do not have acne. And this is because a sudden cessation or sudden stop of adapalin can cause a rebound in acne, whereby there is more sebum and at the same time, there's more dead skin cells on your skin. So don't be too happy once your acne has reduced by using adapalin because you should always continue using it. There is no harm to continue using adapalin for years and years to control your sebum production. The third reason, you're not using the right amount. So what is the right amount of adapalin? Use too little, there is no results. Use too much, gonna cause severe skin irritation. Hence, you should always only apply a pea size amount. Now, a pea size amount is more than generous for the entire face. So if you're only gonna be using at certain spots, please reduce the amount of adapalin being used. If you're not getting the results that you want, you're getting too much acne, you might want to increase the use of adapalin. And if you're getting severe skin dryness due to overuse of adapalin, you're gonna to have to reduce the amount of adapalin being used. The fourth, forgetting your moisturizer. Adapalin reduces sebum production, means that it will dry your skin if you do not moisturize enough. If you have a look on the 
label of adapalene, it generally tells you to apply before moisturizer. However, one of my favorite way to use adapalene is in order to prevent the dryness that usually is associated with adapalene, use it after moisturizer. By using your adapalene after moisturizer, you're adding a buffer layer to your skin. It means that the adapalene doesn't come in direct contact with the skin and the adapalene is mildly diluted. I know what some of you might, might think, mildly diluted means that it's not gonna work as well. Now that's where you are wrong. Adapalene is not about how much you use, but how consistent you use them. So my tip for everyone is to clean your skin, to apply a thin layer of moisturizer, and then apply adapalene over the areas which is affected. And the final reason is stopping adapalene when you're having a purge. Skin purge happens when you use an exfoliating product. Anything like glycolic, lactic acid, even to adapalene can trigger a skin purge. Skin purging is due to the pores being clogged by dead skin cells and the dead skin cells need to come out of the pores. So what happens when you start using adapalene in some people, you will experience worsening of your acne, aka a little bit of skin purge before your skin gets better. Skin purging can last from anywhere between two weeks to 18 weeks. However, during the time of skin purge, please do not stop your adapalene because continuous use of adapalene eventually will yield great results. If you're having a skin purge, you can always click on one of our videos up here whereby we teach you on uh, methods on how to reduce skin purging. All right, guys, so there you have it. Five mistakes that you're doing with adapalene. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe, and as well as comment below and let us know what has adapalene done for you, whether the good or the bad. If you find this video informative, please forward it to your family or your friends. And until next time, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin, but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.